So for the solo of Give It Away, John Frusciante used backmasking, which is when an audio track is reversed. Let's take a look at the notes as we hear them on the record. If we now read this score from right to left, we get the notes of the original melody that was recorded. If we now take the clip I just recorded and play it backwards, we get this. So it's really interesting to see how John like probably composed the final melody first but then had to figure out which notes to play in such a way that when played in reverse would match that melody. Another cool thing is that John hits the higher E string together with each note which when played normally doesn't really sound that good but in reverse it really adds to the unique sound of the solo. Let me know what you think of this effect or if you have any other cool examples. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.